assassination successful. Brilia! Freeze! Don't you understand the position you're in? Think it over. You have a lot more to lose by doing that than us. Still, I'd rather blow her brains out than let the Federation get its paws on her. <laughs> Victory is mine! And so are your weapons. Hand them over. Don't take a single step forward. You know very well what'll happen if you do. Victor, really for the most adept swordsman in all of Rasulia, indeed. You okay? Uh, yep, I'm okay. Whatever you do, don't even think of leaving my side. Okay. No, no, no! Our plan! Not a single one of you is getting out of here alive! But we've known that for a long time. Fidel! Fidel! You okay? They didn't hurt you, did they? Nope. I'm okay. Really, uh, thank goodness. Mickey! We are all happy to see Relia safe and sound. However, we cannot stay here much longer. Relia. You want to come with us and help rescue Feria? Yep. I'll come with you. Kenny, to the Charles de Gaulle. This is the Charles de Gaulle. Transport the seven of us over there right away. I can't. There appears to be a shield encasing your ship that blocks transport functionality. Captain. They've set a silent countdown self-destruct sequence. They love their explosions. How much time left? 27 minutes, 19 seconds. It's still calculating, but we clearly don't have much time. Can we stop it? Not with this little time. The command's far too advanced to override. What about the jamming? Its security is the same level as the countdowns. What's more, it appears to be directly linked to the captain's vital signs. Delacroix, can you send a shuttle to the cargo bay over here? I can and I would, but the doors to your cargo bay are closed. We'll take care of that. Aye, aye. I'll have a shuttle waiting for you right outside the doors. Got it. Over and out. I take it there will be someone waiting for us at this cargo bay? Right. Us. Cargo bay. Now.
receptionist. Seconds remain. That's too short. Captain to the Charles de Gaulle. I read. Your present location? Lower your shields a sec. Then reset the boundary to nine clicks. Go all out with the new warp engine and head toward the enemy ship as rapidly as you can. That's just rash. Five seconds remain. I said do it. The clock's ticking. Secure? <laughs> All systems clear. The shuttle should be okay. So we're not in any danger? We did it, sir. Thank you. We're still alive. Goodness. Let's return to the Charles de Gaulle. I must have overslept. I wonder how really is doing. Maybe I should come along, too. I'll come, too! Perfect. Then let's be on our way. Problems are just piling up. We can't let this escalate to all-out war. 
Kronos is sure to make an official demand for her return. You don't think erasing her symbols is viable anymore? Even if it is, it's unlikely to defuse the situation at this point. <sighs> It'd be so much easier if Little Miss Starlight had never been created. <gasps> Captain! Relia! That was uncalled for. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I promised that I'd protect you. If you left me behind, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. If you're going to jump, Relia, then let me jump with you. No! You can't! You might never be able to rid yourself of that pain. It might influence how you live until the day you die, but right now, Relia, I want you to live for me. Without you, there's no chance I could ever be happy. Please don't do anything like this ever again, okay? If for some reason you ever stop believing in yourself, you can always believe in me instead. If anyone deserves the blame here, it's me. I apologize for my behavior. I never meant that I didn't want you to be created. It was a poor choice of words. We're very sorry that we brought this incident upon you. You won't do that again, right? Fidel, Miki, Fiore, Victor. Relia, you're all needed on the bridge. Whoops. Do you happen to recall what that enemy captain said before we fought in front of Relia's holding cell? Something about a shuttle, right? Mm-hmm. He said, when you go to the research lab, put that one in the shuttle as well. Mm-hmm. Good memory. From that statement, we can obviously infer that Ferry is inside their research facility. A Kronos research facility, huh? We found two of their symbology labs in the course of our journey, though. Aha! Eureka! One of them got blown to bits and he's useless now. So... The only one left is Symbological Facility Prime on the banks of the ISOC. Okay. Everyone to the transport room. We're coming for you, Feria.
Okay then, let's reconvene in front of the inn. Do you like sweet foods? Do I ever? When I was a kid, my dream was to eat at least one of all the sweets in the world. That's a rather, how do I say it, grandiose dream? If only I had that transporter, I could eat any sweets I wanted. The rules strictly prohibit using it like that. Don't worry, if I ever really want to transport, I can always ask Relia to. Calm down, you're not thinking straight. Adele, do you have a girlfriend? Whoa, um, that's rather sudden of you. Amateur. I'll give it a rest. I'll take a cute guy over a handsome one, but he needs to have a bit more confidence than that. Those kicks of yours are some of the best I've ever seen, Anne. Your military must have a strong tradition of martial arts. I didn't actually learn that technique in the military. My grandmother taught me how to fight. Oh. Back in her day, my grandmother could knock a large tree down with a single kick. That's... that's very impressive. Whoops. Number one, you must have graced me with your presence today to solve my new problem in a snap, like you always do. Don't be so bashful about it. This isn't the first time I've thanked you. You assistants have really helped keep my research on an even keel, and my reputation is through the roof. <sighs> it must be human nature to never be satisfied, regardless of how much you accomplish. For instance, the first thought that came to my mind after finally acquiring what I had thought to be the most supreme weapon in the world was, how can I make this thing even more powerful? <laughs> I suppose I can't help myself. What? Who's this? A man even more handsome than number one? Hello, sir! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't help myself. <laughs> Pardon me, but would it be possible to research your weapon with you and make it even stronger? Hmm? Wait, sir! Please be my assistant number six. No, I'll make you my number one. How about that?
decisive win with minimal casualties. worth the effort. Hopefully I could be of assistance.
Pardon me. Pardon me. Where's assistant number six? He's not with you today. Hmm, that's too bad. Well, it's probably for the best. You don't make me nearly as nervous as he does, number one. That's what I get for letting my greed run away with me. Best to start with a more realistic dream rather than get carried away with visions of grandeur. 
And now I've achieved that dream. My inventions are helping people and making everyone happy. That's all I really wanted, to make people smile. And it's all thanks to my assistance. I owe you number one. Finished! Behold, my new and improved tense handy stick. I broke it at my dissertation meet and greet the other day. This will make it easier the next time I have to shake a lot of people's hands. I'll continue my research alone from now on. It wouldn't do to rely on you assistants forever. The best days for Welch Laboratory still lie ahead. Just you wait and see. <laughs> 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 <laughs>